Hello again. My wife is a fan of Call the Midwife, which is um, a television program set in the 1960s, the East End. And so I often end up being in the room while it's on. The new series, which began on Sunday, is set in April 1968. I remember that year vividly. I was a teenager at the time. Perhaps inevitably, given that they have reached 1968 in the series, Enoch Powell was featured, or rather the speech which he gave that year, which has become known as the Rivers of Blood speech. This was, of course, also the year of the Back Britain campaign, when the Union flag began appearing in all kinds of places and there was something of a patriotic feel in the air. 55 years later, the speech which Powell made in Birmingham has come to be regarded by many people as racist and designed to stir up racial discord, but that wasn't true at all. In the description to this video, I give a link to the text of the speech so that people can judge for themselves. All that he was saying was that a lot of people were coming to live in Britain from other parts of the world and that this was likely to change the nature of the country. He said that many people in Britain didn't want any more immigration and he said that he himself thought that it would be a good idea to call a halt to it. The notorious statement that in 15 or 20 years time the black man would have the whip hand over the white man which inevitably was um, aired in the programme by an actor with a completely mad voice, wasn't Powell's sentiment at all. He was quoting a constituent of his. All in all, read today, it strikes me as pretty mild. I genuinely cannot see how anybody could object to a man saying that the significance and consequences of an alien element introduced into a country or population are profoundly different according to whether that element is 1% or 10%. What's to object to about that? It's simply a statement of fact. Even the bits that everybody went mad about sound to be quite innocuous. Talking of people living in areas where a lot of immigrants moved to, he said that they found their wives unable to obtain hospital beds in childbirth, their children unable to obtain school places, their homes and neighbourhoods changed beyond recognition. Well, is that false? Does anybody really claim that that wasn't the case and hasn't been the case since? The spin given on the speech in Call the Midwife is that Enoch Powell was calling for black people to be driven out of the country, but that's simply mad. One of the characters says, for example, incitement to racial hatred is against the law in this country. Leave aside the fact that this is a ludicrous anachronism which jars the expression incitement to race, racial hatred hadn't even been coined at that time. It, the phrase first appeared in the 1976 Race Relations Act, eight years after the episode of Call the Midwife was set. The truth is Enoch Powell was not in that speech inciting hatred of anybody. He suggested that a halt on further immigration was a good idea and that it might also be a good idea to offer immigrants living here grants to pay for them to return to their own countries if they wished. The impression given in the programme was that black people feared that they were about to be driven out of Britain, which was not at all the case. A lot of people at that time wanted to see an end to immigration and all that Powell was doing was speaking out for them on their behalf. They were not mad racists any more than he was. Still, we can always trust the BBC to distort history so that it fits their own particular narrative and even the gentle Sunday evening entertainment like this could be roped into this mission and used as a bit of agitprop. 